Not or shake reviews. Willie not or Willie shake. Yeah. Hi. Johnny here with Jim Bobby. Welcome to another thing of Not or Shake Reviews. Hey, Blockbuster season has officially hit us, is upon us. Although I feel like the Blockbuster feeling has kind of not been what it's been like in past years. Cause I, feel I was like, like Blockbuster is no longer around. I meant, you know, big movies. But now big movies just come out whenever. I mean, the biggest movie last year was Spider-Man No Way Home. And that came out in December. So it's Blockbuster season? Welcome to another thing of Not or Shake Reviews. Not if it's good. Shake if it's not so good. Either way, you should check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. Subscribe so you can see all the blockbuster reviews. Alrighty, on to the review. It's a hot, hot box into this. It is very hot car, here. bro. Let's get to the review. See, you can open a window every now and then. Fire starter. Uh, I'm going to try to do something very difficult and try to separate the work that it's based on from the movie itself. Uh, so the biggest problem that is very distracting, the biggest problem, I had zero connection to the characters, which is the most important about probably this story in particular. There's a lot of stories of Stephen King's that you maybe can get away with, this is not one of them. Um, I just, there was nothing. So, and it's so hard because I read the book and I'm like, what? Whoa. Uh, so yeah, it was a big shake for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to say it was probably one of the worst adaptations. I, I genuinely think for me, there was just not a lot of redeeming qualities. The music was good. It's not even a movie that you can kind of like have fun with. It's just not good. Uh, so yeah, I guess, I guess that's my review. <laughs> Jim Bobby, take it away. Johnny told me not to talk about the book, so. Not too much. I mean, if you want to dip, dip and dive, I'm curious what to see, what the non only, the only The only good thing about this movie was the music. Yeah. And I know why. John so, Carpenter. John Carpenter. Yeah. Hire him. I like your music. <sighs> the rest of it sucked. I would have watched a blank screen with just John Carpenter's music. Done. So, so you watched the Drew Barrymore version last night, correct? Yeah. In comparison, which I one missed. Did you... I missed the part where it's like when Andy McGee's like, and and, and it's like, whom, 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 whom. I actually, I would have brought seen, that back. I never seen the original, so I. Yeah, Yo, you want to see two. something ridiculous? That's the most ridiculous. At least, so you when, got when... something out of it, right? Like, uh, even if it's something stupid to laugh at, this I feel like. Oh, uh, the Drew Barrymore version is laughable. George C. Scott plays uh, a Native American. Uh, George C. Scott, the whitest man on planet Earth. Yeah. So I mean, this tried to bring it back to that, but totally none of the characters were likable. The only thing I'll say is uh, the McGee's uh, the way they like acknowledged him starting the use his powers was pretty cool. Like when when he would crack his neck, but it was they were trying to be a little bit more. I don't know. Uh, the, the original movie it was ridiculous. Like this loud hum. You gotta watch it. Just yeah, watch yeah, it for yeah. that. Um, uh, both are on Peacock if you want to check that out. But yeah, the the both. movie sucked in comparison to the book. Yeah, Stephen oh yeah, King's books time. are always highly character driven. Yeah, and these characters were just not likable. From the get. Yeah. They changed a lot about oh, the entire premise. Uh, and oh, it, it's so unnecessary, too. I don't know. It's like I, I have so much to say, but don't know how to say it. <laughs> it's, it's just not a good movie. It, it's And I felt like there wasn't a desperation of them being on the run. I didn't feel that desperation. Like in Terminator, you feel like, oh, my God, these people are like, let's go. You guys are on the run. You didn't really feel it that in this movie. Cause, no, they were very lax. Well, it wasn't even that they were lax. As I felt lax as an audience member because I, I don't think I really cared either way. If they got captured, I'd be like, all right. And I feel bad. And, and the whole thing, the whole reason for this even starting was that she didn't have a handle on the power. And the mother wanted to train her. Yeah. And the father was like, no, she's untrainable. Not happening. Meanwhile, she did it in the woods five seconds. Like, she was like, I got That's a handle true. of this. They, it was so stupid. So ridiculous. Yeah it, was a yeah, it was a training montage. No, there wasn't a training montage. It was like, I did it. 
Oh, well, yeah, it's just, like, one scene of her just attempting to... Yeah. And then, I don't really remember if she obtained multiple powers in the book. I don't remember either. I don't think so. Like, she couldn't do what McGee did, the father. I, she I couldn't. Can't, I she couldn't remember, tell so people wanna... what to do and then do it. Yeah, she does that. She turned into, like, a carry at the end. Yes, very and, much And so. that, that was, that, that's what they did. And the whole point of the book is, like... She has this power. Fire is an uncontrollable thing. You it will it, it will get out of hand. Mm-hmm. No one can control it. And that's kind that of the that. point. Yeah. And that's why at the end, uh, Andy, right? That's his, the father's name? Yep. Uh, Andy says, burn it down. Burn it down. It's the yeah. biggest line of the of the novel. Yeah. And like when you when you read that, yeah. I was like, Goosebumps. yes! Goosebumps. Yes! Yeah. In this, it was like, just burn it down. Yeah. And then go about your life. No. Burn it down. Burn your life down. Take it to the to the foundation. Yeah. Yeah, very disappointing. Very disappointing. Blockbuster season. Alrighty, uh, thanks for cringing. Thanks for cringing.